Okay, trigger warning, voiceover. This section is insufferable if it's just the music, so here I am. The morning of, I brush my hair, wash my face. You'll see me brushing my teeth. This is all the really dull stuff, obviously, of the day. I wasn't really focused too much on my appearance. I was focused on my appearance, for sure, but I wasn't spending too much time on it because I knew professionals would be handling it, which was so cool. One of the things that I really did want to take care of was plucking my eyebrows because it was time and I didn't want the makeup artist to have to do that because I know that's annoying. So I just tried to show up with as much work done as I could have. You know what I mean? And after that, I chose a little outfit I was comfortable in, some sweater, jeans, freaked out when I got in the car because I was setting the navigation to Fox Studios, not to be a PA, but to act. Please shout out the 6am graphic. It literally took me two hours in Adobe Illustrator to, <laughs> to figure out how to make that work. Anyway, I drove over to Fox. I was trying to keep myself level-headed because I was so thrilled and excited, but I knew I had to kind of keep my composure because I was there to do a job. So I was just trying to kind of have a little meditative car ride over. But when I got to Fox and the sun hadn't even come up yet, it was barely rising as I got there. It, I was so happy. I felt like I was on a different planet. Oh my God, it was just such a dream come true. And I parked my car. I knew exactly where I was going because I had been here as a PA over and over again. But this time my name was on a freaking trailer door. So here's the trailer. It's one of those that's divided in three. Here's just a little tour. So I had settled into my trailer um, and you can see the sun is basically just rising. I was trying to be level-headed and then I went and I got my hair and makeup done and I could not have had a better experience. They made me feel so beautiful. Look how, just look how good that looks. Oh, and the dress too was so cute. I really liked the first one they had me try on, which was a miracle. Oh my God, I know I keep like just freaking out. Working as a PA and then guest touring. How does that happen in real life? So after freaking out and hoping nobody can hear me outside my trailer, I started practicing my lines again. Really cringy, but that's what happens. And then I shot the scene. It's on Hulu, you can go watch it, so. And I shot my scene. It's 9.30 in the morning. So now I think I'm actually just gonna go back to my office job. I have to get changed out of my beautiful little dress. Um, we did, God, it, it couldn't have been more than, than three takes, so. But holy shit, that was so fun. Ah, that was so fun. And the thing is, since I already work on this show as a PA, I feel like new people behind the camera. <laughs> But my scene is literally the first one of the day. Been here since 6.15, 6.20 in the morning. And now it's 9.45. It was so cute. I was recording the clip. I don't know where I'm gonna put the clip in the video. I was recording the clip of trailer door with my name on it. And there was a guy, I think it was in the camera department and he was sitting in a golf cart on a phone call. And he saw me like shooting it. He's like, first trailer. I was like, yeah. And the character's name is my, my real name, you know? So it's really cool. I wanna do this every day. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, I've stalled long enough. I put my outfit in there. So I think it's time for me to peace out and say goodbye to this trailer because it's time for me to go to my, my actual job. Bye, trailer. God. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened.